Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have successfully completed the understanding of the styling the React apps or the React components. So there are, uh, we have seen about the different ways of uh, styling the React apps. Now and also another thing what I want to discuss with you is we also learned about the React router also. Now it's time for us to start with a new project, not a new project. What I want to tell you is, we'll start with a new application. We'll, we'll start. We will create a new application, and we will learn some more concepts like performance thing, use call, some of the hooks and all those things. We'll learn it with a simple. Uh, uh, we'll try to implement a uh, simple app with the Vite also. With Vite only, we'll do it, and we'll learn the React router in a different way. So we, previously, we have learned in that uh, data way, right? As an object way, we have learned it. Normally, the people, uh, the some of our subscribers have asked me that. The common way how we will be using the routing concept in the React, the traditional way we have used, we will be using previously, right? So like that, uh, how can we able to implement it or not? There's some subscribers has asked me. So we can also implement this in the same way also React router six. That is the latest method which was available. I have explained you. Now we'll try to do in the traditional way also, and we'll do the concept of uh, the latest tech, uh, latest tech concept also. We'll try to implement it. So now here I am creating a new course. Uh, sorry, new not new course, new app that is traveling app. We'll try to see. So here, uh, npm create wheat address latest. So like this, we will be creating the project. So when we are when you are using create wheat address latest, so it will ask you it will ask you some couple of questions like project name and what is the framework you are trying to use it. So like this, it will ask you. So let it ask. So it will take some time. And here it has asked you the project name. So here I am using the name as travel app. Okay. And it is asking you to select the framework. So right now we are using react and the JavaScript. That's it. So the project has been created. So let's go to the project and I will install the dependencies which are available in the package.json like react and all those things. So let it, let us install these all the packages. So it will, it will also take some time depending on the internet connection what you are having so it will take some couple of minutes to completely install the packages available in this one so that those all the packages nothing but what are the dependencies it will install is so these all dependencies what are available in the package.json so those things only it will be installed so now it is installing let it take some time okay so here uh, i think it will be finished so compared to the create react app if you are if you try to see uh, what is this one? Wheat app, uh, wheat, uh, the project which was the app which we are trying to develop with using the wheat is little bit faster. So not little bit, so much uh, faster it is. So here I am opening this one. So we have opened the project. Okay. And let's try to run this app also. NPM run dev. So we are running this app and I will try to open the Chrome also. So I am opening the Chrome. Let us open this Chrome. And here we will run this local host 5173. Okay. So we are running this one. So here we are having this project and like this. So I am keeping side by side so that we can have a clear uh, view about this one. So now I think this one is running right. Uh, yeah, it is complete running. Now here we are able to see the source and all those things. Now what I want to do is so here we need to have the React router now. React router. So for it, for having this React router, previously we used to install React router and also React router DOM we will be installing. But right now in our latest React router, so we can directly install only one package that is React router DOM. So let us install this one npm install React router DOM. So I am installing this one React router DOM automatically in the package.json. This React router DOM will be added. If you try to see here in our package.json file. So react dom it is getting installed. Okay. So react router dom is getting installed. So let it take some yeah react router dom also install it. So fine. So react router dom is also installed. So now let's open this app.js and here I don't want this all the code. Okay. So here I will remove this one all and here I can have div and here i can close this too and here i can have hi lila okay so let's let us and i will try to restart this one again we have installed this react router now right maybe it may take some time 
now if i go to the package.json so this is all is completed and we have index.css right index.css i don't know my system again becomes very slow yeah okay dependency analysis something so activating extensions the all things going on so here i am reviewing this all the code also okay now uh, and app.css also i will try to open and here also i will remove this entire code so we'll try to start from first onwards so i don't want to target more on the designing phase and all the things just uh, focus we will focus on the logic only now we have completed this one highly lies there okay fine and here now we need to uh, have some couple of uh, routing pages so for this one what i will try to do here in our source i will create a new folder pages okay we will have something like three pages i will try to maintain home.jsx and here we'll be having uh, something like about.jsx okay uh, we can have another one something like product.jsx anything product.jsx so these are the two uh, three pages which we will be having and let's try to add it export default function okay this one is home right home and in this one i will return the due okay home page so this is our uh, home i think uh, the say font and all those things maybe it will be a little bit uh, small i will try to increase the font size oh sorry not 16 24 it is 24 yeah fine now i think hopefully you'll be able to see yeah this is our home and here in this one we need to write about okay and here it is an about page we will be having like this about page and the last one is the product the same thing i will write it and here also we will be having product and here also i will write the product page okay so these are the two three pages which we will be having and these are all the things we can remove there is no need for us to have the count and use state also you can remove okay so now i want to have a browser router so for this one what i can do is so here i can have one div and in this one browser router so here where the router comes into place so this should be imported from the react router dom so we will be having some couple of uh, components which are available uh, in the react router we will be using those all the components in this browser router so here you will be having an another component that is nothing but routes so this one is also should be imported from the uh, what i want to say here so routes fine right so now if you try to see here the first route so we need to define the first route so for this one route path is equal to slash that is home page and i need to load the component element home that's it so it should be imported the home should be imported from this one and here we need to close this route that's it now the routes and here the route also should be imported that's it now if you try to see here we are able to see the home page so this is our first setup of the project so now we have create we have installed the react router dom and also we have created the first router so this is the traditional way of using this router and all the same at the top whatever the thing you want you can write it so this will be continued all over the page so here you can have the layout or anything you whatever the thing you want you can have it so this is our first step fine right so we have completed setup of the project so we will try to uh, improve more and more we will improve liberal authentication routing and all the things we'll try to do it so here i will commit this entire code so initial project setup okay so i am committing this entire code uh, okay this is our branch right so now i will be creating a new branch video hyphen 121 okay and here i will publish this branch entire branch so whoever may be having doubts or anything if you want to refer this code so the github repository url is provided in the description below so you can have and take a look at that one and if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you